Yeah, and there's a couple of reasons why people get stuck where they are, and there's two words that come to mind. The first word is doubt, and the second word is avoidance. Yeah. And if we're doing those two things, we're probably not doing enough of the things we could be doing to help ourselves and our business go to that next level. So that's the first one, doubt and avoidance. Yeah. Okay. So first one is doubt and avoidance. So there's, so there's three reasons why we do doubt and avoidance. The first one is because of our conditioned behavior. So when we grow up, it could be for an example, you know, if you grow up with a mum and dad that were highly active, then the chances are that you've probably got some of those good performance behaviors or habits as well. Uh-huh. On the flip side, you could have grown up with a mum and dad that never saw the inside of a gym, loved their junk food, they thought that was healthy, and you've got those behaviors as well. The great thing about both of that, Dean, is that whilst there's conditioned behavior, you can learn that, you can certainly unlearn that. So. Great Jim Rome talks about it saying that you are a makeup. If you want to determine your destiny, look at the five people you spend the most amount of time with. So yeah. if I think about that, if you're spending your time with five people that are unhealthy, then chances are you probably won't be that healthy. So start spending some time around with people like that. So if it's a prospecting dilemma, an activity, look at the ones in your office that are doing the activity you want to go towards, do that consistently, and you can recondition, like a car engine, you can recondition yourself as well. So that was the first point, and then the second yeah. one was? Second one is, is, is actually, so you've got conditioning first, then you've got consequence. Yep. So a lot of what we do or don't do is based on the consequences or the stories we have attached to them. So example stories. could be, I'm gonna go and knock on the door today, but what if they say, damn, what are you doing at our house? It's like seven o'clock at night, the kids are asleep. We didn't invite you over. Yeah. So rather than thinking about the what if negative, which is our default position of our brain, it's what if positive? What if they knock on the door and they actually say, Darren, how'd you, yeah, come in. Yep. Yeah. So a lot of our life is lived out of playing this big movie in our head about the what if negative versus the what if positive. So yep. if we can switch that story around and create that what if positive, then we've got our chances of actually having a different story and a different outcome. Awesome. Two good points.